Hello, this is an assessment in transit. We've been asked to store this piano actually and the client would like us to assess it at the same time. Of a Wellmar A2 upright piano that's about 106 centimetres, three foot seven inches high, made in 1976. And uh, first of all, the casework is quite damaged down here. Apparently it was scraped and in removal at some stage. Now, looking this one up, I think it's solid mahogany and not veneered mahogany. If we look at this uh, Wellmar brochure here, um, 1966, if you look at the top right there, we have an A2 and an A3, same height, three foot seven inches, solid mahogany, and uh, can be veneered walnut. If you look, solid mahogany, 285, it's about 4,500 pounds equivalent, or perhaps 5,000 today. Um, wouldn't normally get solid mahogany. Nowadays, it would be veneered. If you look down below, you can see the C3 is veneered mahogany. So it's a bit flickering, this video. Um, and uh, the grands are veneered. And so veneered is kind of, it takes longer to do, more expensive. Um, the grands are very, very pretty veneered, um, flamed or uh, figured mahogany in some way and figured walnut too. And the upright, top upright here, we have veneered mahogany. So obviously um, that would be more expensive to do. So solid mahogany on this A2 piano. So looking at the scrape, I'm pretty sure it is solid veneer. Sorry, solid mahogany, not veneered, because you'd see some of the veneer coming off or peeling off on the sides, I would have thought, and uh, where it's been scraped. No evidence of that. So let's say it is solid mahogany. And uh, just have a look at the rest of the case. The top of it, uh, there's a bit of damage there. And the top of the case um, has also had some plant pots standing on. Most of that could be removed actually without repolishing. Um, and the case could be made good on the side there too. On the other hand, it's a very high quality instrument, so it could be totally re-veneered. Interesting, we've got four book holders, so it must have been a musician using this. And uh, you can see a fade line here too. And obviously, if it was re-polished completely, because we're actually doing a Wellmar for someone at the moment, and it would, be, would look very spectacular. And, and it's a valuable piano if it's redone. Uh, obviously, in this condition, not so valuable. The cost of redoing it is expensive, but um, worth doing, I think, because, as I say, the instrument is excellent. It's a piano that we're trying to source ourselves. A 1976 Wellmar, if it's not too worn, is definitely of interest to us. So the bottom panel's quite good condition. The pedals, the right hand one's not too worn. It's there's reasonable slope on it, so the, it hasn't worn. Some pedals are too high, and therefore they wear a lot on the edge. Now the overall tone of the piano is typically pretty sounding piano, as mellow Wel Welmer. At the moment, let down by the hammers mostly, and it's about four beats flat and out of tune too. Let's look at the end of the hammers, as we've often done on other videos just to see how much wear there is. And that represents, well, over a period of time, a reasonable amount of wear. You can see the indentation there. And it has caused them to sound a bit softer than they should do and too much hammer hitting the string. Um, so therefore, uh, if they're refaced, you're going to bring out the tone much better. So in other words, there's, there's just too much hammer area hitting the string and therefore is, is dulling the sound and also it's a bit soft. So if you take off the top layer, just the very top layer, one millimetre won't make much difference to the amount of hammer on there. And they've got to be done very straight, as we mentioned before, so that they hit all three strings at the same time. And that's going to improve the tone a lot. The dampers, I think the springs to me are a little bit on the heavy side. When you take the dampers off, it feels, sorry, wrong pedal, it feels much nicer than when you have the dampers on. Perhaps not quite so much up there, but here, that feels a lot better. So maybe the springs are slightly too tight. Or have the dampers coming off a little, well they're coming off right, right they should but it shouldn't be much later than that really um, that's sort of refinements that could be made it's probably not the most important thing to do but um, around here it's got a rich bass again let down by rather soft hammers I think uh, hopefully they're not too soft I think we will no I think it's just if you take the top surface off there it'll make it uh, hit the string more firmly again. And tuning pins, well, it, Romars are extremely well-made pianos. Um, they teamed up with Gluten, as you may have heard, uh, well know, and uh, 
Uh, they imported Blutner, so they learnt a lot from them. And uh, the break point is reasonable. Now, one thing I notice is the hammer blows a bit, uh, um, not quite great enough. So we have a hammer blow here about 41 millimeters, should be about 47. And uh, someone's put a piece of felt in here to decrease the hammer. It might be to make the touch slightly lighter. You could do that. And then you have to re-regulate, take up the slack. Um, I would take that out and give it more blow because it just feels a bit, a bit weak on the touch to me. So I tend to take that out and increase the hammer blow. Probably that's going to take it up to about 45. Um, maybe a bit more. So 47 will be the normal for most pianos, but they do vary a bit between, say, 47 and 45. But generally the tone is, is pleasant. But just let down by the hammers, really. Thought you might like to see the other side of the price list, front and back. So there we are. Welpdale, Maxwell and Cod. So Wellmar is a kind of uh, compilation of those names, though Cod seems to have got left out a bit there, but Welpdale, Maxwell and Cod, extremely respected English firm and did a lot of restoration of Blutner Grand Pianos. We often get Blutner Grand Pianos bought, which have been restored by them and uh, to an extremely high standard. So that's an assessment of a Wellmar upright piano made in 1976. It's a piano that we've been asked to store um, and restore at the same time or give a quote for rest restoration and and it's solid mahogany I'm pretty certain about that which is interesting because you don't get many pianos in solid mahogany very out of tune there so and it, um, but underlying just the beautiful sweet sound that you expect from a Wellmar who called themselves the the best British pianos I don't really like boasting but uh, they were probably right alongside Knight they're the two makes that we would like to get into stock and there are many other good English makes but not not uh, these are the two that we can rely on I think the most that we source mainly now touch wise so touch is really important for musicians um, I would increase the hammer blow a bit and it needs lubricating, uh, that's dry lubricant on the centres and just refinements that we would normally make to our own pianos just to get the very best out of it. But I would say it's worth repolishing the piano. We're doing one for a client at the moment and um, it's not going to be French polish because that would be very, very expensive. But um, just to make, make the case look perfect again and then it puts value on the piano. Hammers need refacing, that's the main technical thing as well as the touch to do. So I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for listening.